You know you got me, girl I like the way that you move The way you shake your body, girl I got a whole lot of plans for you I don't have my lights. You know what? I'm going to just talk about what I could not stand when I first got this board. It was bad. Um, Yeah, so I bought it. Well, I got it. It arrived on Friday. Today is Tuesday, December 4th, when I'm shooting this video. Um, I could not get doll mode to work properly um i try to hook up all of the connections the way that it said it needs two connections one connection being usb the other connection being network so you have to go from the network um ethernet cord on the back of this mixer board to a router and then from that router to your computer and everywhere online that's what um, it said to do. Let me see what this looks like when I turn it on. Um, so when I did that, basically, um, it still didn't work. Um, I searched all over YouTube trying to figure out what the problem was. I ended up joining a Facebook group um, that was for the Studio Live, which um, even in the group, they were actually trying to tell me um, how to fix the problem and it just wasn't working and I'm pretty sure that a lot of people who buy this board um, For the very first time they might come across this problem because I see that a lot of people do have that problem um, where they try to connect to the um, Studio one in doll mode and it doesn't uh, Do anything like you'll you'll press the doll button or sometimes you won't even get that and then you'll press doll and then nothing happens um so let's so right now i'm in dom mode now because obviously i got it to work um but it wasn't me who got it to work it was someone else so basically um when you do connect to dom mode you're going to have you're going to get it and it's going to be set like this so you're going to hit the uc net um and it's probably going to come something like that so what you're going to have to do to make sure that you are connected with those two wires or to those two cords is you'll see Studio One show up here. If you see that show up here, that's how you know um, you did the connections right. Okay, hit the button. Um, and then you want to turn that to software control. I don't think I did it properly. There we go. So you're going to do that and then you're going to press doll mode and then this screen might just do nothing and all of these faders uh tracks are probably going to go blank and you're probably going to be so upset like i was so from the time i got it at 11 50 a.m on friday um i couldn't utilize doll mode and that was the main reason why i wanted this board now mind you you can mix through the board um you can route the audio through the mixer board and then you can still play the audio from the sound system, uh, from the DAW and you can mix with the compressors and stuff on the inside of the board. You can do that. So I'm not saying that you can't do that. That is just not how I want to use the board. I want to control my uh, studio software because if you do it the other way, then you have to export the sound back into the DAW so it would be more like a traditional um, mixer, which, you know, might have its effects for whatever reason. Um, anyhow, so if you have this problem, I'm going to tell you the reason why, even after you do all of this, you're still not probably in DAW mode. Um, it's your firewall. Um, a, a man through the uh, Facebook group, he actually reached out to me and asked me if I, if, uh, I would like him to help me troubleshoot 
And I, of, of course, I was like, yes, please. And so uh, he called me. Um, I gave him my number. He called me. And then we got on um, uh, uh, Skype. And we found out it was my firewall. So for some reason, my firewall was blocking this board from connecting with my studio software. Why there's so many extra steps, I don't know. Um, I feel that PreSonus could do a better job um, having this problem answered. Like I tried to call them, they were closed. Um, I couldn't get a hold of anybody. I even sent emails through the whole weekend. Like imagine getting something and it's Friday and you cannot get it to work and there's no one that can help you throughout the whole entire weekend and you're ready to work. Like that is probably one of the most frustrating moments ever. Um, and I'm just spending endless hours trying to figure it out. So um, there was a guy who, he says he's an old retired uh, IT guy. Um, he has the board. He has he knows a lot of people has problems with it, and so he's retired. And all he does now is he helps people all over the world troubleshoot their studio live. That man was a life saver. Um, so yeah, once it started working, oh, I got the chills. Um, so what it's supposed to look like? I mean, this is my session. So once you hit this DAW mode, everything on here is supposed to be a representation of what's up there. So yeah, that that is beautiful. That's the way it should work. Um, man, the board itself is not flawed. I feel like the way that they put out their information on what troubleshoots that you, or, or what checklist needs to go down, um, I feel like that part was flawed around from PreSonus. Um, so if you have any PreSonus people watching, please step that game up because, man, I didn't. He, we didn't figure out until eleven, uh, eight, not eleven, until nine fifty on Sunday night. So, <laughs> yeah, you can imagine how uh, frustrated I was. Anyhow, um, so the setup is pretty much like it was before uh, without the mixer board. Um, yeah, I have. Um, my uh, monitor station over here. Um, this is actually controlling the the uh, audio from the computer, and then the audio from the DAW is going through this board. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a way to route it um, to where everything comes through this board. I just don't really have the time or patience to figure that out um, when that works perfectly fine. So I have two audio sources going into this so I can switch back and forth. So for me, that's, that's fine. Um, as far as, uh, this, I have it here. I don't know if I like it here. I don't know where else to put it, where it's easy accessible. Um, yeah, hit this button that pops up, but yeah. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty dope. It's pretty dope. I'm still learning it. I'm still learning how uh, to um, manipulate some of the plugins from um, the board because that's kind of like what I want to do, which is in the fat channel. Um, so far, so good. So, yeah, that's my first uh, update for the Studio Live 32. Um, more to come as I figure it out. I'm going to try to make sure I stay uh, in tune <laughs> a lot more um, than I did in the past. So um, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up. If uh, this content is helpful or um, if you just got one of these boards and you couldn't get the DAW mode to work, hopefully th that is something uh, you can look into. What we ended up having to do is when we turned the firewall, the firewall, firewall, when we turned the firewall off, it worked. So then I went into my settings and I um, allowed this board to have a connection through the firewall. Um, so that's most likely what you're going to have to do on your computer if you are having the same problem as me after you connect the, the wires the way you know they were supposed to be connected. Um, oh, and well, I don't know if that is. Anyways, if, if you're still having problems, hit me up, leave it in the comments, and um, 
I'll try to walk you through what I did if this didn't help. Um, but yeah, I have nothing else to really say. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Get home tomorrow. You know you got me. <laughs> Get home tomorrow, girl. I like the way that you move. The way you shake your body. Girl. I got a whole lot of plans for you. So baby, come here.